So I grew up with cars parked on the block all the time, um, with FBI agents knocking on the door. My mother was interviewed three times by the FBI over the years. Um, you know, we were told not to ever talk politics on the phone. Our mother warned us not to talk to strangers. The first time we saw a car parked was the fall of 1990. Every time I went for the groceries, I saw the car. I went and dropped off the kids, I saw the car. And we kind of thought that our house was bugged too, that somebody was looking into our house all the time. The more you know about what the FBI actually does and what they're capable of, the more paranoid you become. Because it's actually astonishing when you look at the historical record, what they've done in communities of color in the US. When my kids were small, you know, to say, oh, it was the bomb. You know, like, that was the really cool thing. That was like the big word and we couldn't use it. And I had to tell my kids, not almost like a swear word, you don't say that. I feel really a responsibility now to document what they've done and I feel like I'm empowered because I'm watching back. I can return this gaze, you know. I think the violence and surveillance is in the one-way gaze, you know, that they can see you but you can't see them. You feel like someone's just invading your life, you know. I have a feeling that there is a camera, there is something watching and you don't feel free, you don't feel safe. The FBI admitted to having 33,000 pages of records about my community and I won you know, a case in court to get the records. It's more than 70% redacted, so blacked out, black holes all over the records. Okay, so my next project is working on an artificial intelligence algorithm that will help us predict what might be behind the black holes in the record. What we're basing this on is hundreds of thousands of pages of records about other communities of color that have been surveilled by the FBI, the tactics the FBI use, patterns that have shown up and how they're doing things. They're not actually finding or stopping terrorism in our communities, they're just traumatizing people. I would call the neighbor across the street if the car is parked over there and say, do you have a visitor that owns a car like that? Mm -hmm. Isn't that terrible? No, I had a lot of hope going into it, but I didn't think that it was possible to actually take the FBI to court and win. Um, it renewed my faith in the judicial system as well, that you can you know, take on the government and still have a fair trial and have a fair case and we can still win. So yeah, it was pretty incredible.